What's up, everyone? Are you good? I'm doing great. Welcome to Sign One News. I'm Sign One News anchor Christopher D. Johnson. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. The fury of Mother Nature is being felt in the form of fires, floods, and mudslides across the United States. In Northern California, emergency responders race to rescue people trapped by the mosquito fire. The fast-moving wildfire has scorched tens of thousands of acres and forced more than 11,000 people from their homes. In the southern part of the state, emergency responders are rescuing people on the ground and airlifting them to safety after a thick, massive mudslide trapped dozens of people. And in the central part of the country, relentless rains have been saturating the region. In Wisconsin, snow plows, normally used for winter storms, were brought in to push a massive amount of water off Interstate 94. Flash floods shut down a main artery through the state. As always, Sign One News will post any emergency weather press conferences with sign language interpretation to keep viewers in the path of severe weather informed and safe. There have been almost 22,000 cases of probable or confirmed monkeypox reported in the U.S. this year. California has the most cases, 43,000. Now the first known death from monkeypox virus has been reported in the U.S. The CDC confirmed that the death of a person in California with a severely weakened immune system is linked to monkeypox. Now global experts are racing to understand the rare cases when monkeypox leads to death. There have been 18 reported monkeypox deaths around the world. And typically, it affects babies, pregnant women, and people with weakened immune systems. The Justice Department is turning up the heat on former President Donald Trump. And there have been major steps taken in two investigations. In the first investigation, multiple sources confirmed 30 of Trump's associates have been subpoenaed. And the subpoena goes beyond the Capitol riot. They also seek information about Trump's campaign fundraising and the fake elector scheme. The second DOJ investigation involves classified documents seized from Trump's Florida home. The Justice Department has requested continued access to the documents in that case. Even though a special master has been assigned to filter out privileged information. And the clock is ticking. The Justice Department is likely to go quiet on its Trump investigation soon. Traditionally, the department tries not to make political waves 
in the 60 days before an election. Last month, California made history when regulators agreed to ban the sale of new gasoline fuel cars by 2035. And because the state is the largest auto market in the country, the measure could lead to a major shift across the country. More than a dozen states could be on the verge of adopting the same unprecedented electric car mandate. Currently, there are 17 states that already follow California's car emission standards, at least in part. And experts say once the mandate is approved by the EPA, it's likely they will apply their rule. The rule requires that by 2035, all new vehicles sold in the United States must be electric, hydrogen powered, or at least plug-in hybrid. Critics of the measure argue it raises big concerns around issues like charging station infrastructure, mineral availability, supply chain issues, and vehicle pricing. Burger King has experienced a rough few years, falling further and further behind its competitors. But now the fast food chain is getting a $400 million upgrade. Over the next two years, executives plan to pump $150 million into advertising and digital products. and then $250 million into updating restaurant tech, kitchens, remodeling 800 restaurants. Burger King has already changed its logo, signs, and uniforms. Executives say all of the changes are designed to do one thing, make people fall in love with the Whopper again. Apple released its latest iOS 16 update on Monday, and one change has made iPhone users very happy. The updated software now allows users to edit and unsend recently sent iMessages. And the ability to mark iMessages as unread if you want to come back to them later. But perhaps the most fun new feature of all is the ability to cut out the subject from an image or its background and drop it elsewhere such as into iMessage. iOS 16 works with the iPhone 8 and up. To download the new software, just visit the Software Update section in Settings. A fearless kid in New Mexico has become a world champion bull rider. And he's just nine years old. Parker Hook says he's been waiting to ride bulls 
since first seeing the sport when he was a toddler. He said he likes dangerous sports. Well, that's obvious. After training on sheep and small calves, he moved up to small bulls and finally took the top prize at the Youth Bull Rider World Finals in Texas. He earned a huge shiny bull riding belt buckle as part of his prize with one rule from mom. He's not allowed to wear it to school. And that's all for today. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. And a reminder, the Sign One News Saturday virtual show team is still taking a break for the summer, but we will see you real soon again in the fall. And a big thank you to all of you, our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. But if you want to take a break from your smartphone and watch it on television, you can. You can watch it on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku. See you later.